Hi, my name is Jennifer Diebold. I am the innocent one. I am one of 144,000 chosen lightworkers. And I wanted to talk to you about star seeds and ET encounters tonight. Um, I am a star seed with many different backgrounds of alien families. And if you clicked on this video, you could be a star seed also. Um, some of the signs that you might be a star seed are if you are a black sheep. Um, I don't know about you, but like I like being a black sheep um, because with some of the people I'm just glad that I am not one of them and I'm very unique. And um, I like being me, I like to be different. So um, to me, that's a compliment when people say, Are you the black sheep? Um, another thing about uh, quality that you might have if you're a star seed is um, noticing that you have a dense body because we have light bodies um, our higher consciousness does and I remember in high school um, in the lunch cafeteria I kept looking at my hands and I'm like <laughs> like is something wrong here what's going on here um, and I didn't know until later um, why I was wondering that as I'm reawakening from a slumber it started when I was a kid after I was born awakened um, I figured out that I am a star seed again um, sometimes I realized it and sometimes I didn't as I went in and out of slumbers but anyhow um, another quality that you might have if you're a star seed is that you might be highly gifted um, I found out in third grade that I'm borderline genius and borderline ESP and I'm sure that a lot of us do, that are star seeds, as we tune in to who we are, our gifts are coming out more and more. I saw 20 Claire's, like clairvoyants, on Facebook post once, and I saw the descriptions, I'm like, I got this one, and this one, and this one, and I think I have all of these. I think a lot of us star seeds do, whether we realize it or not yet. Um, so you could be a star seed if those qualities fit you. Another quality of being a star seed is not feeling like we're supposed to be here, um, thinking that our home is elsewhere because our home actually was elsewhere. We didn't come from Earth, and as star seeds didn't, and so we long to go home. We feel at a place here, and um, it's not all the time, but like a lot of times, I I feel that way too. So if you are feeling these um, qualities, it's a bonus. Um, it's because you're a star seed. And um, my real mom, not my legal mom's, is Palladian. And um, I have many different backgrounds um, as far as alien families go. Um, but I relate to the Palladians in that way. Um, when I found out that I have borderline ESP, recently I found out that I take after her. And um, I'm sharing all this tonight because I was inspired by the universe. And motherships go around my apartment complex um, lately. I don't have the equipment to take pictures or anything like that. I wish I did um, so I can show others. But um, I've seen them around here. Um, they're different than the stars. And um, when you think that something might be something, don't, don't doubt yourself. Trust yourself. Because you know what you're talking about. It's your higher self reaching out to you. And I remember seeing pictures of motherships when I was younger. Um, they frequent Nevada. And somebody showed me a picture and asked what I think. And I said, um, they're aliens. They're here to assist us. The thing is, though, that we um, have the power within ourselves and um, sometimes the mothership signaled to me and they were signaling for me to get this message out here um, for me to speak my truth finally <laughs> um, and share with you what I know so um, I'm, I'm doing so they want us to know that they're not our saviors the power is within us and we are the ones that we've been waiting for um, they're here to assist us but they want us to know that we have the power and that we're the ones that we've been waiting for um, so, I have many different backgrounds with, um, starseed families, uh, alien families, starseed families, same thing, and, um, you could as well. 
like some of my ET encounters are I had a, a past life that seems pretty close to this life um, where I was in a Pleiadian mothership and I was looking out the window at Mother Earth and I was homesick um, even though my home is really with my star families I was missing Mother Earth and what I left on Mother Earth so I wasn't feeling that great and they let me come back here again um, so that I wouldn't be homesick and that's how lovable they really are um, there's good and bad in anything um, any quality, any families um, it's a generalization to think that they're all good but um, a lot of them are and um, other than signaling to me I lived um, another life in the Akashic Library and that's when I met my Pleiadian mom I was there and she was sitting next to me and she shared with me that I'm the best chance that they have and um, that made me really happy because she believes in me and I believe in her as well um, I always have and um, I found out that a soul family member has the same mom which is a small world and I'm really happy about that and um, so I was introducing them when they were with me one time um, energetically like out of body experiences um, soul fragments and they were with me and I was introducing my soul family member to them and um, my soul family member thought that that was so awesome so um, I was happy to do that and um, the other Pleiadian things are that Pleiadian family experiences are the last one was that I could see her out the window barely but like I could see her out the window and I was wondering if that was my mom or not um, I, I don't I don't know I'm wondering still but I did see her and she saw me and we were happy to see each other I also have background with um, I call them the gray ones instead of the gray aliens they were with me um, and they were kind of all standing around me when I was in a daze half in half out I was sleeping at the time somewhat and um, one of them said the innocent one and that woke me up because I knew that the, uh, the gray one was talking about me and so that's another experience that I've had and um, I have experience with the Arcturians as well and um, I was on a mothership with them and again I wasn't feeling that great um, and they let me come back because I wasn't feeling that great so what they're doing is making sure I, I think what they're doing is making sure that I will not be homesick from Mother Earth if I do get picked up um, I, some of us are going to be picked up and some of those are not um, it's all uh, what we wanted before we were born in this life and it's up to them as well it's, um, sometimes they don't come by uh, us because they think that we might be scared of them but what it is is that when they get close to us it brings up a lot of things that we have not dealt with within ourselves shadow work that we need to do and so they don't get too close because they want us to be able to work on that and it might be too much at once for us to handle it's a fear mechanism um, it's not about them it's about what work we need to do on ourselves and another t uh, chance that I had I just remembered another time that when I was with the Palladians I was on a boarding ship and um, it was only a few it was soul family but it didn't quite work out that way so I came back here again and um, another time I was on a boarding plane with Palladians as well but to get back to my other soul families as well um, my alien families uh, race families um, I was also had experiences with the Syrians I remember living on Saturn in a past life and um, it got bombed um, so I had a past life memory of it being bombed and so of course I wasn't there anymore but um, these past lives come up I do not practice anything 
um, to bring them up, they just kind of daydream in a way, and the memories come up for me. So some ask if I have a special technique that I do, and I just say, you know, I kind of daydream, I'm kind of in, kind of out, um, like a natural meditation, and these past lives come back to me. So, um, yeah, so um, these are the encounters that I've had, quite a few I could say, but um, the um, the mothership had signaled to me tonight to go ahead and leave this message, um, this video. I, I had done it last night, but I was half awake, half asleep, so it, it was a good video, but I wanted to redo it, and then I got the signal to definitely leave this tonight, and um, if you've had any encounters, you're not crazy, so obviously, because I've had them too, and I'm certainly not crazy. Um, but if you think something might be true, trust yourself. It's your higher self letting you know that is definitely true. And if this resonated with you, that's great. If not, then I understand that as well, and that's cool too. Just whatever you take in, filter it and see for yourself sometimes. If you can't take somebody's word for it. Well, um... I talk about star seeds in my book, The Journey to Enlightenment, Transcending Dark Nights of the Soul, and I'll put the link below. Please uh, click on the like button, please click subscribe, and comment. I'd love to hear some feedback about this topic. And um, I'll also post my services in the description box. Just click on the title of this video and it'll appear. It'll, be, it'll show where I am on Facebook as well. I put a link below. I'll put a link below, so you know where to find me. So I hope you all have a great morning, evening, or if you're sleeping, I hope you're sleeping well. And um, I know it's late, but I just I had to get this out there. So um, thanks and take care.